Hi guys, with all your love, support and feedback, the prelims 2022 repeat PYQs PDF is now ready for release and this short video will help you utilize it to the maximum possible extent. Now guys, last year, that is prelims 2021 was the first edition of this work and I had submitted it in PDF form. I got many responses regarding this PDF and most of you loved the work but some of you found it difficult to use the PDF fully because of the way in which the information was presented. Now the best way out of this uh, situation is to give you the full control over the work and therefore from this year I'm giving it in uh, Google Sheets form. You can save the Google Sheets, you can upload it on your Google Drive and you can customize it to your heart's content and then you can utilize it as you like. Let us see what do we have this year. So on your screen you can notice this uh, Google Sheets file the name is prelims 2022 repeated oblique related PYQs. This is the file that you will be getting and if you open it you will see something like this. In this file if you come to the bottom part of your screen you will notice multiple workbooks. So the first workbook is named prelims 2022 questions. In this workbook we have two columns. The first column highlights all the hundred questions of prelims 2022. Right? The column name is prelims 2022 question and if you notice uh, in the first question itself it starts with CSE 2022 series A question 1. So this is the series A paper question number 1. Same way you will find all the questions going up till question number 100. The second column to the right of this uh, prelims 2022 question is named analysis video. Now I have given many videos uh, on YouTube uh, channel of Rakesh Dalal Institute. Uh, these videos are available publicly. They are free to watch and the links of these videos are given here corresponding to the question. So for example, the first question is about rapid financing instrument. Uh, the same video which discusses this question, the link is given here. Similarly, if you scroll through this page, you will notice multiple different videos. I think it's uh, not scrolling right now because of uh, the screen has frozen due to the video recording. But if you just scroll through uh, this particular page, you will see multiple such videos and in total there are 45 such questions. Not all 45 videos are present in the public domain. There are some questions for which the videos are given only to those uh, that have purchased and this is because I shot these videos later. I could not get the time to make the thumbnail and uh, do the other uh, you know, processing stuff to make it public. So those videos are only for the uh, people who have purchased the product and uh, most of the videos but are uh, they are free uh, you can watch them so i've given the video and the corresponding question in the first workbook come to the next workbook so the next workbook you will see is capital expenditure this is the name and this is the same uh, phrase that will be used in the video of this question. So this is a question which contained the phrase capital expenditure, right? So if we click on this, you can notice the first column is prelims 2022 question. This is the ninth question of series A paper and you can go through the question and then you have the repeated or related PYQ. Uh, also, there is a third column in the uh, third and fourth column in the workbooks the third column highlights the theme of this question so the theme is capital oblique revenue expenditure multiple questions have been asked by UPSC in the previous years on this theme now guys we need to understand that there's a difference between the terms repeated PYQ and related PYQ Repeated PYQ means verbatim repetition, very close uh, uh, the PYQ is to what has been asked. But related PYQ is a broader uh, meaning and it includes much more things that can be asked on the theme of whatever question we are studying. For example, in this question we are studying the capital or revenue expenditure theme. And this related PYQ is what is more important for our purpose because repeated PYQs will be hardly any in number, right? One or two odd questions would be there. But 
related PYQ is what is important. You need to know what all things are important in the theme of capital and revenue expenditure and in what way those important things have been asked by UPSC, right? So this is the purpose of uh, this presentation of information and the last column only the first cell will have this uh, entry and this is the video regarding this question. Now guys, the video may not have the same question, the same PYQ that is there in the first cell, right? For example, in the first cell, we have a PYQ from 2016, that is series A, question number 8. When you click on the video, it might be compared to some other question. So the purpose of the video is to just give you quick access to the video. The video is focusing on the repeated PYQs. The video's focus is to highlight how PYQs uh, are able to help you in solving questions in prelims. It is not studying the related PYQs. The related PYQs are the focus of your document, this uh, Google Sheets. So for your quick reference, the video is given here. It will not have the same formatting as is done in this particular Google Sheet, right? So just keep that in mind. Similarly, you have all the questions of prelims 2022 which are related to PYQs and the list will go on. You can just scroll horizontally and you will find all the questions here, right? And the questions, the themes of each question is mentioned and it is the theme that you have to look at in the question. So when you are seeing a question, sometimes it might be so that that question is not at all related to what the uh, exact question of 2022 prelims has asked, but that question will be related to the theme of the 2022 question, right? So don't get perturbed, don't get disturbed by, you know, uh, how can two seemingly distinct questions are given in this PDF. It is the relatedness of the question of the PYQ that is important rather than its repetition, okay? So you need to focus on the themes, what all things are important and in what way those things uh, can be asked. Of course, because this is a fully editable PDF, uh, you can save the PDF, put it on your Google Drive, put it on your system and you can add more questions uh, because you have access to the uh, PYQ's uh, Telegram channel wherein all questions from 1979 are uh, available. Uh, you can search for similar themes. You can think of uh, relevant keywords and search those key keywords, get the questions. Uh, you can add your own questions to your uh, the uh, Google Sheets that I'm submitting and you can create your own customized database of repeated or related PYQs. Right? So great potential this uh, product has got in uh, when we present it in Google Sheets form. So guys, that will be all in this video. Let me know how you feel about the product and if uh, there is any problem in using uh, the product, do let me know. I'll try my best to help you out. Thank you so much and uh, all the details regarding the purchase of this product. In case you are watching this video but you haven't purchased the product, you wish to purchase it, all the details will be given in the description of this video. Thank you so much for joining me today. See you next time.